Um, I watched the other game, the WNBA New York Liberty uh, versus uh, Indiana Fever with Kaylin Clark. This was her second game in the WNBA. And man, it wasn't that much better than the first. Let's keep it a buck, bro. Second game in the WNBA. Um, you expecting something to build off of. Um, the first game, y'all was expecting her to come out and be Michael Jordan. Um, I told you guys, and I'll say it again. She's good, and she's going to be good. But she's going to get bullied in the WNBA. I tried to make that um, as simple as could be because there's an adjustment period. Y'all called me a hater. Uh, uh, people called Diana Taurasi a hater for saying she's going to go through a transition. But that's just what the reality of it is because I'm looking at the numbers of, of the first two games that Kaitlyn Clark had to, uh, that she played in. Oh, my gosh. If this doesn't say this is an adjustment period, I don't know what does. The first game was cool. She had 20 points, but damn it, she had 10 turnovers. Come on, man. 10 turnovers, shot 33%, four for 11 from the three-point line, five for 15 total. Horrible game. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I'm gonna I'm keep it a buck, bro. It's great for your first game in the WNBA. It's marvelous for your first game in the WNBA. Truthfully speaking, that's that's solid. 20 points, that's hard to do in a WNBA game. But that's sloppy as hell to have 10 turnovers and shoot five for 15. That's Russell Westbrook numbers out in LA. Let's keep it a buck, bro. I'm not going to be silly here. I'm going to be honest and I'm going to give straight feedback on, on whoever it is because, you know, in reality, this is, this is the truth. 20 points is good. You know, so so kudos to her on the debut. You know, hey, still score. You know, some you seen you seen a glimpse of you know all the things that we've talked about uh, when she was at Iowa in this off season. So you know, I'm I'm not upset about that. It's it's an okay performance. That's that's pretty good for a rookie coming into the WNBA. That's damn good actually. But the second game against New York Liberty, this is a marvelous team. Let's not forget New York Liberty. They went to the finals last year. Kaitlyn Clark had nine points, seven rebounds, six assists, which is solid. But she shot one for seven from the three-point line, two for eight total. So that's where the struggles are, are in, in shooting. Like the consistency is not there yet. And this is what I mean by the adjustment period. She's going to go through that. It takes time to adjust in the WNBA. And anytime you go to the next level, it's going to take time to adjust. So watching and looking at all of these different stats um, and watching her play, like you can see how elite the other players are in the WNBA. And that's what I've been trying to tell y'all for the longest is that, you know, I don't know why you thought that the WNBA was just going to be easy for her. You know how many other women in the WNBA had this immaculate college tour? They may not have exposed the game the way Caitlin Clark did, but damn sure they definitely dominated the game in the collegiate level the same way Caitlin Clark did. Putting up crazy numbers, winning national championships. Caitlin Clark didn't win one, but they actually won national championships and they still, you know, got to the WNBA and, and you know, fell short a few years and, and had to go through that adjustment period. So it's something that's, you know, it's natural. It is okay you know, for, for her to struggle this early on because it is something, you know, that happens to everybody. And, you know, it's just mind-blowing to me, though, that everybody was hating on me. You know, y'all thought I was crazy talking about Kaylin Clark is going to get bullied. She's going to struggle. Crazy. Y'all didn't listen to me. Y'all didn't listen to Diana Taurasi. And that's the thing. Quick history lesson for y'all. Uh, Diana Taurasi, she's, bro, she's literally... She's lived this life already of being that collegiate athlete, winning national player of the year awards, winning national championships, winning uh, Naismith college player of the year awards. All of these, the Wade Trophy winner, like her accomplishments in college go deep, bro. And then the accomplishments in the WNBA go even further. So if anybody knows about the adjustment period, it's Diana Taurasi because she literally lived this. She came into to the WNBA when it, it really needed great players in there. She was one of those great players that stepped it up and, and showcased her talent in the WNBA. She's been doing this for years and years. So, you know, y'all can hate on me, but damn, y'all got to hate on Diana Taurasi too. Like, that's wild, bro. Wild. And, you know, I, I, I bring all of that up to say just, you know, she's not the first superstar to struggle and come out of college. 
um, but she definitely won't be the last. And Caitlin Clark, she'll be fine above all. It, it just does. It takes some time. It takes some time. So, you know, laugh at her now. Make the jokes. Uh, you know, do whatever you got to do. Hee hee ha ha. <laughs> post the funny memes. I'm going to post some too. I ain't going to lie. But I'm going to call it straight because it is what it is. Like, she's struggling right now, but give it three to four more years. I doubt Caitlin Clark is still going to be putting up five for 15 and two for eight. Like, it's not going to happen. It's just an adjustment. She's 22. She just played her first two games against the best talent in the WNBA. The best talent in the world for women's basketball. That's what's going on. That's who she's playing against, just in case you didn't know. Because, personally, I feel like a lot of people didn't realize how elite the WNBA was. They see, you know, the... The, the jokes and stuff and they see you know all the different memes and, and different things like that but they don't really pay attention to the the skill of basketball and what's going on so you know i'll leave it at that man um i do have some audio of kaylin clark um this is her after her debut game and the audio is from bleacher report um didn't have the greatest start so i think just a lot to learn from you know it's the first one there's gonna be good ones there's gonna be bad ones and you know like we said in the locker room like we play on thursday you gotta learn from it and move on and be ready to go all right, look, man, quick side note here. It's just an interesting thought. And I, I hate to, you know, stay on the same topic and all of that. But the WNBA, they should WWE this thing with Caitlin Clark. Now, I heard some some conversations about it. So I just, you know, I just thought of it because it's, I thought it was kind of interesting. But what I mean by WWE, this thing is like scripted up, you know, what, how, how crazy would that be? And it's not necessarily... You know, bad from an entertaining perspective. It's unfair to all the players who've been in the WNBA already. But I'm just saying, if they were to the, the, the WWE this thing, write up a script, make sure everything is going Kaitlyn Clark's way, make sure she gets the 40 balls, the, the big shots, all of the highlights and stuff, the and ones. Like, bro, you can't tell me people wouldn't tune into the WNBA even more than what they're already doing. So it's just the thought here. You got to, it, it would be wild. I think it's unfair. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's definitely unfair. And this is, the, this is me just a, a side note. This is a thought, a random thought, because it would just be crazy if that was the case. People would be saying she's really Michael Jordan. And I, I quote, I said she's Michael Jordan from a level of fame and how the WNBA can market her which I still stand on, but she was coming straight into the league, dropping 40 on the first debut game, 30 on the second, like the home opener, like, all. come on, man. Come on, man. You know how many records and stuff that the WNBA would break even more? People probably, people would watch Kaylin Clark instead of watching some of these playoff games because some of these games... It is is like the Cavaliers and the Celtics, and when you got half the Cavaliers hurt and the Celtics is unhealthy and they playing like boo boo but still winning. Come on, man! I, I'd rather watch Kaitlyn Clark drop forty. I ain't gonna lie to you. 